Hi everyone, it's Dawn and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, I got a bunch of new stories today, including a brand new ship for New York City. We have the very first cruise port to say masks are optional. And uh, yeah, uh, about the testing, how are we still gonna require testing? Y yeah, well, there's a reason why I think yes. Okay, my first story comes today as many people have been wondering since that judge in Florida struck down the mask mandate by the CDC and airlines immediately, immediately stopped wearing masks on board. Like to all the airlines, just all of a sudden, just boom, 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 calling up the stewardesses on the phone. Hi, tell them to take off the mask. That kind of thing, You're like mid-flight. Well, now we have the very first cruise port to announce that they are no longer going to require masks, and that would be the Flynn Harbor in Boston. That's right, Boston cruise port, the main cruise port for Boston, no longer requires masks, it is now optional. And so as far as I know right now, they're the only cruise port in North America that has announced that. However, we did have the Coast Guard come out and said that since the federal judge has struck down that mandate on airlines and transportation and tra transportation hubs, which include cruise ports, which they control and they monitor, they came out and said they will no longer be enforcing that rule. So it's very much expected very shortly that all the cruise terminals will turn to that system. Like, uh, I would expect you'd hear announcements day after day after day that this port, this port, this port is now opening up, especially that now that one has already jumped in being Boston. So that's where we stand right now. So far, one, but the announcement is only a couple days old, and they're just reacting now. Expect, you know, a lot more in the coming days. Just down the road from Boston, we have New York City, and New York City is going to get a brand new cruise ship, the MSC Seascape, which is due to launch later on this year. In fact, they're going to have their naming ceremony in New York City on December 7th of this year. Much anticipated. It's always great when you get a new ship and a new ship to your city. That's a nice, close you know, drive uh, or a flight, even in your state, right? It, it just makes it so much more convenient. Everyone wants to check out the new ship, and there it is. It's right close by. You don't have to fly hours and hours to get there. It's really exciting when they come to your area. That's why the Discovery Princess going out to the West Coast was a good thing for the West Coast, and now in New York, they get a, a brand new ship as well with MSC. The MSC Seascape, it's going to look beautiful. And uh, uh, from what I've seen so far, those class of ships with MSC have gotten very good reviews here in the United States as well. So something to look forward to if, you, if you're looking forward to cruising out of New York City. And now I want to talk about testing and the reason why I think testing is going to be around for a while. But before I get that there, I, I just want to remind everybody to please check to see if you're still subscribed. YouTube has been randomly unsubscribing people. Uh, I know it's happened to a few other channels as well. Just check that you're still subscribed and the notification bell is on so you'll be notified of every time I put out a video, which by now, you should pretty much assume it's every single day. I haven't missed a day in two and a half years of, of putting out videos, which is, which is crazy. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, that's all I want to say today. And if you haven't subscribed, hey, yeah, hit, hit, hit the bell, hit the subscribe button, and welcome to the community. Okay. In the news today, all across Western Canada and in Eastern Canada as well, just like you heard in San Francisco, the media is jumping all over saying, two cruise ships are arriving in Vancouver, but one of them has COVID on board. Ooh, COVID's on board a cruise ship, everybody. And it's under investigation by the CDC. Okay, it's under investigation by the CDC, which means it's in the orange category. There's two ships. The Celebrity Equinox is one ship, and the Norwegian Bliss is the other. 
The Norwegian Bliss is the one that's under investigation with the orange category, and that means it has reached the threshold of having 0.3% of both passengers and crew members on board to be under investigation. Now, in my head, when I do the math, 0.3% of 3,000 people is around 10 people? Um, is, is that really the big oh no that the news media is making it out to be every single time a cruise ship goes into port, right? It's one thing if there's 100 people, 200 people. Okay, okay. But I mean, like they're in your own cities, if they're reporting like they do here in Canada, your cases every day, uh, they're tracking cases, hospitalizations, ICU, wastewater, everything. Like they're reporting on it every single day. And they particularly focus on cruise ships right now. And I think that's one of the reasons you're going to see testing. Because in those articles, they all say they have COVID on board. They're under investigation. They're being searched and they're being looked at by the CDC. And will Canada ban them from coming in because they have too many cases, etc. But you know what? They are highly vaccinated crews, meaning they are all over 95% vaccinated passengers and crew. So that's in there. And that's a big stipulation. If there was people who were unvaccinated in there, it could make a difference. But because they're vaccinated, if you look through the United States, you look through Canada, if you're vaccinated, you're allowed to do more things. There's less restrictions. There's less quarantine time. There's less everything. And so the cruise ships are going that way as well. John Heald from Carnival Cruise Lines stated it best when he said there is such a focus on cruise ships from the past and still today that they have to do everything they possibly can to keep cases down and keep themselves out of the media. And I completely agree because, I mean, <laughs> did, did, they, did they announce how many cases were came from your Walmart last week? No, but they certainly announced that uh, Nor Norwegian Bliss has uh, nine people on board with COVID coming to a city. Oh my God, nine people, city of a million and a half people. Careful, everybody. You see what I mean? Is that the media is focused, focused, laser focused every time. And that's what they're focusing on. They're not focusing on the resumption of cruising. They're not focusing on the startup of the businesses again. People who went bankrupt are now some companies jobs being coming back to the community they're not it's cases cases on board and that's why i think testing is going to be around for quite a while i would be highly unlikely to see testing disappear anytime this year unless things drastically change in the media because they have to keep that focus down they want to portray themselves as being this as safe as possible and that means Vaccination. That's why the cruise lines, I think, won't be getting rid of testing anytime soon. Well, I hope you appreciate this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. We'll see more tips, more tricks, more travel blogs from around the world. Hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have yourself a safe and a great vacation.